kindness and generosity are attributes that are instilled in us from when we were much younger. While it is good to keep up with the excellent attitude of being friendly, being too nice to everyone can be a disadvantage and thus hurt you in the process. If you have a hard time differentiating being nice from being too nice, then you have to watch this video till the end because in this video, I will share with you 7 signs that you are too nice. 1. You always say sorry. If you did something wrong or are counseling already scheduled appointments, then it makes sense to say sorry. But charming people tend to get carried away with the word that even when it is not necessary to use the word sorry, they can't help but say it. Everything becomes sorry this and sorry that, often to the point where it loses its meaning. But charming people tend to get carried away with the word that even when it is not necessary to use the word sorry, they can't help but say it. Everything becomes sorry this and sorry that, often to the point where it loses its meaning. As important as the word sorry, using it too much is an abuse of it. Come to think of it, how would you feel if you step in someone and before you could mention the word, they already said sorry to you? You feel embarrassed, right? When you are too nice, you tend to always embarrass other people with your irrelevant sorry. Research shows that although over-apologizing for things you have little control over may mean that you are exceptionally nice, it can make people think less of you. According to Elite Daily, when you overuse the word sorry, it gets to a point where even when you are wrong, you are not sincerely asking for forgiveness, you are merely trying to appease your own often imagined guilt, and that is toxic. 2. You feel bad after saying yes. Do you find yourself sometimes thinking, no, 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 and then you blurt out, yes. I guess you are a sucker for yes then. Even though there is nothing wrong with being nice, it's terrible when it becomes detrimental to your happiness, so much that it brings on a sense of resentment or overwhelm. Kate Lowenstein on HuffingtonPost.com in an interview with psychologist Linda Tillman, PhD, said that to know if you have crossed the fine line from kind to compulsive people pleaser, pay attention to how you feel at the moment and later. If you feel a burning sense of resentment after agreeing to something, then it is a good sign you said yes out of obligation and not because you wanted to. For many people, they find it difficult to turn down people's requests. This attitude leads to anger and disappointment. Cancelling only makes you appear unreliable and flaky. Thus, if you discover that you cancel plans and disappoint other people too often, then it is a pointer you are friendly to a fault. 3. There is always so much work to do. This sign is closely related to the one we just discussed. This sign often stems from the previous one. If your boss gives you extra work, it's usually a sign he or she trusts you, right? But on the second thought, it could also be that you have become their go-to workhorse. Since they know you will never say no, they try to take advantage of you. Well, this can be an excellent strategy for getting ahead in your career. On the other hand, it could also mean your boss perceives you as vulnerable and not having a mind of your own. So I ask you, do you see yourself often carrying out tasks that are outside your job description? Do you sometimes feel you're doing too much to win people's approval? Do you feel that people disregard your boundaries without even feeling like they're taking advantage of you? If yes, then you're too nice for your good. 4. You don't prioritize your need. Love your neighbor as yourself is one phrase that even little children know. However, many people do not have an understanding of the quote. The statement, love your neighbor as yourself, actually carries two instructions. First is for you to love yourself, and then secondly, love your neighbors. People tend to carry out the second part of the rule at the loss of the first. They show love to others, but never to themselves. When you are overly nice, you are always putting other people ahead of you and selflessly devoting most of your time, energy and attention to them. You make sure all the wants and needs of others are taken care of, but never once ask them to do the same for you, or even go the length which you go to give them what they ask, to get what you want. If you are not careful, you might end up being exploited and taken advantage of by a lot of so-called friends. Take better care of yourself and prioritize your own needs from time to time because anyone who loves you will understand and want what's best for you. 5. You never voice out your opinion. Are you the kind of person who has an anything goes response to every situation? Do you always give answers such as, I don't know, either one is okay for me? Then you are a too nice person. When you are in a group with other people, you'd rather the other persons involved make the decisions. You don't express your opinions or share your preferences with others because you're afraid of seeming too bossy or demanding, or you feel your suggestions would be too burdensome for the other people. You never suggest where to eat, where to go out, or what movie to watch so everyone else ends up deciding for you instead. Even though you think your nice I don't know attitude would make the decision-making process more comfortable, 
it makes it more tedious for some people and when specific intensive individuals use the opportunity to quickly decide on what favors them, even if it is at your detriment, you might feel hurt that they don't consider your feelings. However, when they asked you what you want, your default response was, whatever you want, or I'm good with anything. 6. You don't like confrontations. Are you afraid of a little confrontation? When a friend or family member is upset with you, do you avoid them and hope they will get over it soon? Or when someone offends you, do you just let things slide or do you try talking to them about it? Of course, nobody likes to argue or fight with other people, so it's perfectly normal to avoid arguments and confrontations. But what is not normal is being a total doormat because you're afraid to ruffle any feathers. Even though it seems like avoiding confrontations is a nice thing to do, being too conflict-averse is not good either. It may feel like the polite thing to do, but it's not a good thing. As Rachel Mace on Girls.com puts it, Pushovers avoid confrontations and are therefore unable to stand up for their own needs. 7. People take advantage of you Have you ever been in a codependent relationship? Do people always turn to you for help fixing their problems? Do these people reciprocate the support you give to them? Do you have a long list of favors you promised to do, even if you didn't want to? Do you feel that people deliberately work all over you and disrespect any boundaries you may have? You never have any time for yourself anymore because you're so busy helping people else out and you always feel overwhelmed by their constant demands of you. All of those things are definite signs that you're too nice for your good and other people are exploiting you for it. They take advantage of you because they know that you won't budge regardless of what they do to you. Being too nice may extend from people taking advantage of you to people seeing you as weak and not having a strong leader or authority. Considering other people's feelings and treating them with kindness and generosity is something you should strive to do as much as you can. However, sacrificing our well-being to make others happy is not. Understand the fine line between doing things for others and behaving like they're doormat and know when you have to stop doing too much.